Your stance is so bad. Oh, shut up. I guess I'll swing with him. That's what I thought. That one was worse than my grandma's. Grandma's dead. That's just cool. Yeah, just give me water. So, what's the plan for tonight? Well, I don't know to tell you the truth. You invited a course party? Nah, I haven't talked to him for a while. Yeah, I'm eager there. But I heard his dad lets my parties at the house. Wanna pull up on him? <laughs> Are you serious? You know how many people show up to those? Forget that. Oh, come on. You gotta admit, you're pretty funny, though. I guess, but can you think of something less embarrassing? Like what? What is there to do around here? I don't know, but we should think of something good. Because we have, what, like, seven or eight months now before we graduate? Six. Whatever, six. But I mean, really, we're just wasting high school away by sitting around all the time and hitting golf balls. Well, what do you want to do instead? Something worthwhile. I just said we should crash a party. No, oh, we look like a bunch of losers showing up to some party we weren't even invited to. I was thinking more along the lines of egging a teacher's house. I mean, I'd be down, but like, eggs can be like really expensive. Is there a cheaper option? I don't know what you guys are potting over here, but I want in. Oh, we were just debating on if we should go toilet paper your house or not. Yeah, I bet that's what you were talking about. Wait a minute. We should do that. You guys are not TPing my house. No, I mean we should go TP somebody's house. But toilet papering's kind of mediocre at this point. Yeah, and who is there to even get? Anna Ross. Why her? Um, zoology last week. Big test, right? She would not let me cheat off of her. Basically, the reason I'm failing. Yeah, I'm sure that's the only reason. I think we should get someone you wouldn't expect to get. Like, someone who's just waiting to get their house caked in toilet paper. We could get Coach Dern. No way. Not him. Well, why not? He's already pissed at me because I quit the football team last season. Hey, do you guys remember that crazy guy who lives in the house over by the movie theater? There's a lot of houses by the movie theater. You know, the creepy dude who'd be out on his lawnmower all the time and he'd flip people off as they drove by? Oh, you mean Brandon Gibson? Yeah, Brandon Gibson. He actually flipped my dad off one time, and when my dad tried to confront him about it, Brandon threatened to pull a shotgun on him if he didn't get off his property. Jeez, <laughs> what a dirt bag. Your dad could for sure take it. Wait. Are you suggesting that we should get his house? Well, that's what I was getting to. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, screw that guy. Okay, then. Let's do it. Looks like Brandon turned in for the night. So, where are we gonna park the car at? Let's just go park around back behind the bushes. 
That way, if we have to get out of here quickly, we can always just run around back. Good idea. Let's just get this out of here. What are you guys doing? We're tired of running back and forth. <sighs> Let's set it down over here. get these trees. Okay. Hey, me and Dylan are getting the trees. Why don't you get the house? Guys? Guys! Guys! Oh crap. We gotta go. You guys heard about how Curtis Fletcher took a dump on Mr. Roy's porch? No. Wait, when did this happen? It was like a couple of weeks ago. Curtis was hanging out with Sam and Joey after soccer practice one night. 
And I guess they decided to go egg Mr. Lloyd's house. <laughs> I wish I would have thought of that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, apparently, when they got to Mr. Lloyd's house, Curtis said he had to take a dump, like, really badly. But since Mr. Lloyd lives out in the country, it would take too long to find a bathroom. So Curtis said, forget the eggs, and he ran up to Mr. Lloyd's front porch and took a big nasty dump right next to his front door. <laughs> That's disgusting. Wait, it gets worse. Then Curtis rang the doorbell, and they all sprang into the car. And just before they drove off, they saw Mr. Lloyd come out in his pajamas and step directly into it. Oh my god, that's legendary. Did you guys happen to grab the laundry basket? I didn't have time. I was too busy getting the car started. And I was with you the whole time when we left. It's okay though. We can get another one. Your mom won't even notice. I don't care about that. It's just that, that on the side of the basket, my last name is written in Sharpie. Are you serious? Yes, I'm dead serious. But don't get mad. How was I supposed to know we would have to get out of there so quickly? If it was such a big deal, you shouldn't have left it in the first place. I was panicking. I, I, I figured one of you guys might have grabbed it. But think about all the redmonds that live around here. Not very many. And this Brandon guy won't even know where to start. My dad's carpet store literally says Red and Premium Carpets right on the front of it. If it somehow gets back to him, I'll be spring graduation in a coffin. Look, it'll be fine. No one's gonna believe some crackhead like Brandon Gibson. I'm pretty sure the dude has a criminal record. Guys, we have to go back and get it. My life depends on it. We can't go back now. Brandon's probably outside cleaning up the toilet paper as we speak. Oh, come on. We hid the basket right by that bush, and I doubt we'll be making any progress at all. And I guess it wouldn't hurt to at least drive by. Right? And we can just drive out of there if we have to. Come on, Jaden. I do the exact same for you. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll go back. But you owe me for this one. I will be forever grateful. Don't start with that. Now you leave the tip. My dad only gave me enough money for food. Oh, so I gotta do everything for you then. Alright Austin, so what's your plan of action here? Well I figured one of us could go around back and get the basket. I assume you were wanting one of us to get it for you? Well, it was your guys' idea to take the basket out. Don't even blame this on us. You're the one who decided to take the one freaking basket in your house that has your name on it. Well, I mean like, guys, it's fine, I'll do it. You will? Yeah, I'm the fastest runner out of the three of us and I can get out of there fast if I have to. We'll take a lap around the neighborhood. Once you get the basket, meet us back here. Okay, got it.
Hey, can you turn that down a little bit? You think he's got it by now? I would assume so. I don't think it should take this long. Don't text me. What did he say? He said that he's in the house. And he got the basket. Oh, sweet. Tell him we're waiting out back for him. Takes it back. What do you say this time? It it just says help. What? See ya, that's what he said. We'll text him and ask him what happened. Has he still not texted back? Nope. Jeez, it's been like 15 minutes. You think he just messed with us? No. He wouldn't do that. What are you doing? I'm going in there. What? Why? Because he probably got caught by Brandon and is getting his ass beat right now. Well, why don't we just call the cops on him? No, we can't do that. Brandon will rat us all out for TPing his house. Well, what are you gonna do then? Well, we gotta go in there and get him. I have to go too? Yes, because it's your fault he's in there right now. Well, what are we gonna do? Say sorry for TPing your house? Can we have a friend back now? No, we'll just sneak in there, maybe cause a distraction, and then grab Dylan and the basket and get the hell out of there. Now, come on. Fine. Jaden, the back door's open.
Do we go in? I don't see another way. I don't hear anything. Do you? No. Which means they're either upstairs or downstairs. All right. I'm gonna check upstairs. You check the basement. Wait, why do I get the basement? Because you're the reason we're back here. Now later down the line, when I mess up, I'll check the basement. But right now, it's your turn. Okay, God. You can't be such a dick about it. But you keep your voice down. I'm not being a dick about it. If anything, I'm being generous. I should have sent you by yourself, but since you're too much of a wimp, we're now both in this mess. Okay, jeez. No, don't say anything else. You've already wasted enough time. Austin? Austin? Dad! 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 
No. No, don't! He killed him. What? He, he killed Dylan. His body's over there. Where is he now? Where's Brandon? I don't know. I found Dylan's body and the next thing I know, Brandon lunges at me and everything just went black. Well, we need to figure a way out of this. Do you have anything to say for yourselves? I want to know why out of all of the houses in this neighborhood, you chose mine. Well, well, there is no reason. We picked it by random. If you let us go, we promise we won't tell anybody about this. Because I know that, because I know that we could get in a lot of trouble for what we did to your house. So if you just let us go, we promise we won't say a word about this to anyone. Do you expect me to believe all of that? You think I'm gonna let you go after what I did to your friend over there? Well, it's obvious that you don't know too much about me. It seems like you take it for some kind of idiot. Before we start, anything else, I'm gonna need you to show me where you parked your car. I'll get in the driver's seat.
Now, start the car. Uh, where are we going? I'll tell you in a minute. But first, drive us out of here. Turn left here. And I assume you plan on killing me too? No, not yet. I still have a few things left for you to do. I would have let your friend live too, but I thought I'd use him as an example to show you what happens when you try and mess with me. Start slowing down. You're gonna come across the road to your left. Turn in there. Drive a fix to that phone. Well, what are you waiting for? Just a little bit closer. Keep going, and stop. Now roll the windows down. Now get out and walk to the back of the bar. Now push. What? You heard me. Push the car. Oh, please don't make me. Do it. I wouldn't be resting so soon. What are you going to do with me? Well, since we've spent most of this night covering up our messes, I'm going to have you 
cover up the mess you made in my yard. Ah. Right. Okay, okay. Pick it up. We're not leaving till you've cleaned my entire yard. Come over here. Start doing these. Now get down those stairs. Don't make me push you down there. Put you in the bathroom, idiot. I want you two to get some rest. I've got a lot planned for you tomorrow. Since you want to spend most of your time being nothing but worthless. 
I'm going to have you work on a little project of mine. It's nothing big, but it'll require a lot of hard work and stamina. So sleep now. And I promise that it'll go a lot smoother. Are you okay? Don't talk to me. I was only asking if you were- I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. Okay. You don't have to talk to me. But I need you to listen for a second. Earlier I was upstairs looking through some old newspaper scraps when I came across a piece of paper with some kind of drawing. I was reading some of the writing on it and didn't think too much of it then. But when you and Brandon went outside, I was able to scoop my chair over to the desk. That's when I saw the piece of paper again, only this time I could understand some of the writing. Well, I think it's a blueprint for some kind of underground dungeon. How could you tell that? Well, on the piece of paper, there was an exact drawing of this room, only it had the blueprint for a big cage in the middle. Well? Well what? Aren't you gonna say anything? What's there to say? <laughs> I guess you haven't figured out we're already enslaved. I can see that, but right now we need to figure a way out of here. I don't know. I just want to sit here and die. I'm going to figure a way out of here, and you're going to help me, because I'm not going to leave here without you. Now think for a second. Do you still have your pocket knife on you? No. I left it in my dad's truck. Damn it! Wait a minute. I still have my wallet. Yeah, so? I have my credit card knife hidden in one of the pockets. Ugh, I can't get it. But I think if we moved our chairs so that our backs are to each other, you could reach towards me and grab it. Are you gonna help me or not? You're going to have to go slow. Okay. I'm going to try and reach for my back pocket. Oh. I, I can't feel it. We're going to have to scoot closer. All right. Now try and grab it. I can reach inside the pocket. Can you feel the wallet? Yeah, I can feel it. Try grabbing it. I got it. Very carefully, get it out of the pocket. Okay, okay. I got the wallet. Okay. Now in the right hand pocket, you should feel a thin metal card. I think I feel it. Okay. Get it out. Careful. Don't drop it. I know, I know. You got it. Yeah, now I gotta figure out how to open this thing. Here, just hand it to me. ready. Now I'm going to cut my ribs first, and then I'll get to yours. Okay, hurry. I 
Are you kidding me? Yeah, I can feel it. Damn handcuffs. Wait, I remember seeing keys down here. Well, where do you see them? Uh, I think over there somewhere. Hurry, hurry. All right, just hold still. Oh, finally. You gotta hurry up and attack me. There's no time. What do you mean? Just untie me. Let's get the fuck out of here. Shh. You don't have time. You act like you're sleeping.